Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Today we'll be learning about Roman numerals. Roman numerals as the name suggests, Roman, it is originated in Rome and we use letters to write in Roman numerals. We don't have numbers here. We have letters. So these are the seven letters we have and we can use only these letters to write in Roman numerals. Children, do you know how many different symbols we have in Hindu Arabic system? Yes, in Hindu Arabic system, we have 10 symbols and which are those? These are the 10 symbols we have in Hindu Arabic system. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. We can write any number using these symbols or these digits. Now, in Roman numerals, these are the letters that we have, these seven letters and we write numbers using these letters. Now, let us see what each letter or what each symbol represents. So, this I represents 1. This V represents 5. This X represents a 10. Then L represents a 50. C stands for a 100. D stands for 500. And M is for 1000. Now there are three rules we have in Roman numerals. First rule is rule of repetition. Now, this rule of repetition has some sub rules. The first one is that when we are writing a number in Roman numeral like x, 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 at that time the value of this x is being added. For example, this x, x, x represents 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is 30. So when we are repeating a symbol, its value is being added. So like this one, we can even take m, m, m. When we are writing m three times, its value is being added. So, one M is 1000, another M, so another 1000, another M, so another 1000. So, we had 3M, which is 3000. So, this is the first rule of repetition. When we are repeating the symbol, its value is added. Now, another rule and rule of repetition is we cannot repeat a symbol more than three times. For example, if we are writing x, 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 we cannot write it four times. This has no meaning in Roman numerals. We can only write it thrice. Similarly, we cannot repeat i four times. It has no meaning. We can only write it a maximum of three times. So, this is the Next rule in rule of repetition. Now the third rule in rule of repetition is we cannot repeat V, L and D. These three symbols are never repeated and this means we cannot repeat 5, 50 and 500 because you can see that V represents 5, L represents 50 and D represents 500. So this is the rule of repetition. We cannot repeat V, L and D. We can only repeat the other four symbols and that also a maximum of three times, not more than three. Now the second rule is the rule of addition. Now, what is the rule of addition? It says that when a symbol of smaller value is written on the right, its value is added. For example, 
if I am writing L here and after L I am writing X, it means that the value of X, this has the smaller value, will be added to this. So because it is written on the right hand side, its value is added. So we will write it as 50 plus 10 is equals to 60. We will write it like this. Now it brings us to the third rule which is the rule of subtraction. Now in that rule, whenever a symbol is written on the left hand side, I am writing I over here this has the smaller value when a smaller value symbol is written on the left hand side of another symbol then its value is subtracted so this is 10 I'll write the higher value first and then I'll subtract the value of the symbol on the left hand side which is 1 so 10 minus 1 gives me 9 so this is the rule of subtraction. I'll take one more example for rule of subtraction. If I'm writing x before l, now which of these is of higher value? Of course l because l represents 50 and x represents 10. So the smaller value is on the left hand side which means we we'll use the rule of subtraction. So this will be 50 which is for l minus the value of this x which is 10. So xl represents for 40. Now under the rule of subtraction there is another rule and which is we can never subtract v, l and d. These three can never be subtracted. So these were all the rules that we use when we are writing Roman numerals. So now let us take some examples to write Indo-Arabic numerals into Roman numerals and the other way round. To write the given Roman numeral this into Hindu-Arabic numeral. So let us see how we can write it down. First of all this M stands for 1000 so I will just write 1000. Another 1000 because another M. So another 1000 and one more time 1000. So there were three M. So I wrote three times 1000. After that we have C and C stands for 100 plus this X stands for a 10. And after that you can see children we have written IV. And when we are writing IV you can see that i is of a smaller value and it is written over the left hand side of v so we will subtract the value of i from the value of v so 5 minus 1 will be 4 i will write down 4 here now we can add all of these it will be 3114 so this is the hindu arabic numeral for this roman numeral let us take one more example. So this is the Roman numeral that is given to us now. Let us see how we can find the Hindu Arabic numeral for it. So we will again start with the first symbol which is M. And M stands for 1000. So I wrote 1000 here. After that it is D. Do you remember what does D stand for? Yes, D stands for 500. So let me just write 500 now. After that we have C and C is for 100. Then we have X and you can see children that after X there is a symbol with the higher value. So now we will have to subtract the value of X from the value of L which is 50 minus 10 and it is 40. So I write down 40 here. After that V stands for 5. So it will be 5. Now we can add them all. It will give you 1645. So this is the Hindu Arabic numeral for this Roman numeral. Now 
let us try to write Hindu Arabic numeral to Roman numeral. So we have to write 1827 in Roman numeral. First of all, let us start by expanding the number. So this is the expanded form of the number. Now we have to think the Roman numeral for each of these numbers. Thousand can be written as M in Roman numerals. 800, if we see 800 as a 500 and a 300, then it can be written as 500 is D and 300 can be written as C, C and C. So this is 800. After that, this 20 can be written as x and then another x, 2x is 20 and this 7 can be written as v, i and i. So if we write all of these together, that is the Roman numeral for this number. Let me just write it down. It is m, d, c, 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 x x v i i so this is the roman numeral of this number let us take one more example now we have to write 2491 in roman numerals again we will start by expanding the number so this is the expanded form of the number now we will start by writing the roman numeral for each of these numbers so this 2000 can be written as OM, isn't it children? One M is for 1000, another M for another 1000. So 2 times 1000 gives you 2000. Now this 400 can be written as 4 times 100. So it is C, C, C and C. Is it correct children? Can we write it like this? No, we cannot. Why? Because we can never repeat a symbol more than three times. So we will not write 400 like this. And we will write 400 as 500 minus 100. So this is B and I have written C on the left hand side. So we will subtract 100 from this 500 so that is 400 now the next number that we have is 90 and 90 can be written as 100 minus 10 so this is 90 after that one will be i so we can easily write this number in roman numerals now let me just write down so it is M, M, C, D, X, C, I. Children, I hope you have understood Roman numerals. So I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and keep learning.